So in this section, we will look at the connection management states, uh, also known as uh, CM, so CM for connection management. Uh, there are namely two types of CM states. You have the CM idle and then you have the CM connected. So in CM idle uh, state, the UE has no NAS signaling connection established uh, with the AMF over N1. Uh, and the UE performs cell selection, reselection according to the radio conditions. So just to draw this out, you have the UE here connected to your new radio or the 5G RAN. And then you have the AMF here, right? AMF. Now the UE, uh, and then this new radio is connected here. Uh, this interface is called N2, right? Um, and let's use a different color. Uh, and this interface between the UE and the AMF is called N1. So in the idle state, uh, there is no N1 connection. There is, uh, there is no NAS signaling connection and the UE as it is moving across the 5G coverage area, it will just select the best cell, whatever best cell is available. Uh, there is no access network signaling connection, N2 and N3 connections uh, for the UE in idle state. So the, uh, the NR also has a connection to an, another network function called user plane function. And this is where all the uh, data traffic, the user plane traffic flows for the subscriber. And there are um, identifiers on the N2 connection as well as the, this is actually called N3. So this is N3. Identifiers for a given UE, uh, you have different identifiers at the endpoints. Um, for an idle mode UE, there are no N2 or N3 connections, right? Because this guy is not actively doing data or signaling. That's why we drop these uh, entirely in the backend. Uh, when the UE is in CM idle state and registered, so that means it is registered in the AMF, but it is not actively connected to the network. The UE shall respond to paging by performing a service request procedure uh, unless the UE is in uh, MECO mode. Right. We'll talk about Miko mode uh, later on, but essentially if there is this user that is in idle mode and there is incoming data for this subscriber, so uh, there is the, this, as we know that AMF is connected to something which is called a SMF, right? Session management function uh, and the downlink data, if we have downlink data coming in for the subscriber uh, from outside say the internet, the UPF tells the SMF that, hey, I have some data coming in for this subscriber uh, and uh, the SMF reaches out to the AMF uh, sending something sort of like a downlink uh, data notification that telling the AMF to page the subscriber and then AMF sends a page. Uh, so there is the paging that happens and then the UE responds to that page uh, with a process that is called the service request procedure. Um, right here, service request procedure, right? Uh, and we will review the service request procedure in the call flows, but just keep in mind for now that uh, that is how a UE in idle mode is able to access to the network is by responding to the, um, the network and performing the service request procedure. Uh, the UE will obviously perform a service request procedure when the UE has either uplink signaling or user data to be sent. So we looked at the downlink data where if, we, if this user was in idle and we had downlink data, we would page the subscriber and this subscriber would send a scheduling request, right? A, a service request. Now there would there might be another possibility. Uh, let me use a different color. Say this UE has some application like like whatsapp or something running here right and even though it's in idle mode it wants to send data the process is actually similar other than that there is no paging involved paging does not happen because it's a mobile originated 
traffic even in that case it will send a scheduling uh, service request uh, yeah uh, it will send a service request to the network telling that okay i have some data or signaling to be sent and i want the resources so this is again that uh, a process that happens in idle mode when the ue is in amf registered mode the ue information required to initiate for initiating communication with the ue shall be stored right because if it's in registered state uh, this ue is known to the amf on a tracking area uh, or a serving cell uh, level right the amf shall be able to retrieve the stored information required for initiating communication with the ue using the 5g guti so 5g guti is again an identifier that is uh, assigned by the uh, amf so once the uh, once the amf uh, uh, registers a subscriber it sends what is called a 5g guti globally unique temporary identifier and this is sort of similar to our uh, 4g uh, guti that you may be familiar with um, and this this is how the amf identifies this subscriber so for a for a idle mode registered subscriber the amf maintains a 5g guti Okay, uh, let's move on. Um, in addition, um, in CM connected state, so this is the other state. So we talked about CM idle previously. Now we are talking about CM connected. Uh, the the UE has a NAS signaling connection with the AMF over N1. A NAS signaling connection uses RRC connection between the UE and the NG RAN, and an NG AP association between the access network and AMF for 3GPP access. So here, if we have uh, to just help you understand, visualize and visualize this thing. So we have the UE, we have the uh, 5G RAN, um, and we have the AMF, right? So we have the AMF. Now, in a CM connected state, this 5G is connected to the AMF uh, over the N2 interface, right? And also this UE has a dedicated connection to AMF over the N1 interface, right? And like I had talked uh, before, uh, there are unique identifiers, endpoint identifiers for a given UE. So because uh, a 5G, uh, RAN can have obviously multiple subscribers like this and there are endpoint identifiers that uh, are maintained for every subscriber um, for, uh, on the end to interface so a CM in CM connected we have these identifiers uh, already available for both uh, the, uh, the RAN and the AMF to use a UE in CM connected can be in an RRC inactive state. Uh, when the UE is in RRC inactive state, the following principles apply. Uh, the UE reachability is managed by the RAN with assistance information from the core network. Uh, UE paging is managed by the RAN and UE monitors for paging uh, with UE's uh, TIMZ uh, and RAN identifier. Uh, we will, uh, uh, so one thing to note here in 5G is, which we will look at in the next section, but just keep in mind that there are three states in RRC, uh, unlike 4G where we had only two states, right? Uh, in, in 4G, we had RRC idle and RRC connected. In 5G, there is a third state, which is called RRC inactive state, which is sort of in between your active and your idle. And in the inactive state, uh, the UE monitors paging, uh, right? And the paging is managed by the RAN uh, because the reason is because a UE in RRC inactive uh, can be in CM connected. So once it is in CM connected, we have these endpoints already defined and the UE has uh, a dedicated N1 connection. So the paging is actually managed by the RAN uh, and also the UE, uh, reachability is managed by the RAN, 
right? Because we have these endpoints. The user is, is known on the RAND level as well as on the AMF level. Uh, more on RRC inactive in the next slide. Uh, but for just to wrap up the connection management states, we have the CM idle, we have the CM connected, and they can trans uh, UE can transition between each of them. So if it's in CM idle and there is a access network signaling connection established, uh, it enters what is uh, the connected mode. And then from connected mode, when the connection is released, um, it goes back to idle. Uh, the scenarios under which a connection can be released are um, normal scenarios include like inactivity. So say a UE was doing data, but then it stopped doing data, it will go back to idle mode. So from connected to idle, and then it can come back when it wants to do the uh, service request. So you can think of it like uh, in order to come here, uh, you have to do the uh, service request procedure, right? And then once you are done with your data, you can go back to idle. So hopefully the connection management states are clear. Uh, we will look at the RRC states uh, next.